So before I officially start this video, I have to, to tell you a little like, it's funny or sad, depending on how you look at it, story. Um, these videos about RHCSA, as you know, I try to do them as, as live as I can to simulate a practice session for, for the exam. But this is the third take on this video because I realized at the um, when I have finished making the other two and I'm preparing to you know, put it into to editing to add the fade in and fade out I usually put on these that I had OBS set to not uh, capture this this particular window that you see right here with uh, the uh, terminal and such and I can see me doing that one time but then I did it a, a second time I like I specifically did the video again um, because of me forgetting to do that with OBS and I did not change OBS so this is going to be perfectly live but I'll still be able to get the point across. With that being said, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and as that little opening had, uh, this is going to be another in my RHCSA practice session videos. I just want to remind you these aren't intended to be authoritative information but I am trying to give accurate information as I assess whether or not I understand a concept for the exam and I think the one I'm going to go over in this video I understand decently well because I would have done the, um, the steps several times now. Um, I want to remind you if you do enjoy the content of the video please click like and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do. So this is going to be under the Manage security, I believe that's the heading. Let me double check. Yep, manage security heading. And it's going to be use Boolean settings to modify SE Linux, a system SE Linux settings. So, Boolean settings in SE Linux are a little different than in another video I did where I dealt with um, file and process context. These are kind of on or off rather than setting this thing to apply to some type of object like a file or a directory or, 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 or a process and uh, we will still be using s some of the same tools with it but it's, it's kind of a different thing to, to consider. Speaking of which I went ahead and SSH'd into my server. Suad. Let me go ahead and go to root because with SE Linux pretty much everything you have to do is, is root. Now I know that this is a minimal install server so I need to go ahead and install See if I can remember the name of the package you would think I have since this is my third take on this particular video. So policy core, wait, yep, core utils dot py, or dash python dash utils, and of course good old httpd. Let's see if I got it right. That looks like I did. And I noticed that my network on my VMs is running a, a little bit slow and I'm kind of annoyed with that. I guess I need to do some network troubleshooting between now and when I take my test. So while this is downloading, the thing that I want to show you, and actually we'll go ahead, let me make, clearly this is an internet thing because my um, network locally is, is running fine. Let me SSH into that server again so I can at least show you what's going on while the well that's taking forever to download those things so um, I, you know I can't do that because I need to have the utility ah. apparently this is my cursed video I can't win so I'm gonna pause for just a moment or so let this finish installing and then we'll be back and we're back let me go ahead and close this tab because we really don't need that anymore yep I'm sure I want to close that so we've installed the packages we need let me clear and to take a look at the boolean values we can do get scbool dash a for everything and you're going to see a variety of little things remember these are like on off switches there are for for almost every little thing on uh, that that would be dealing in, in SC Linux you have some of these configurations and the one that we're going to look at is httpd enable home dears and we see that enable home deers is currently off. So what the home deers is in um, in Apache is uh, you, you've probably dealt with some web services where you have you know domain name slash tilde your username and then you have your uh, your different HTML documents. That's what this is going to be. 
Now let me go ahead and preface this saying I'm not an expert in Apache and if you deal with Apache day in and day out and you configure this stuff all the time and you see an error, by all means um, put that in the comments but just know the focus of the video is working with Booleans in SE Linux or Booleans as I've heard people call it and not necessarily production ready Apache configuration. So let us go ahead and configure this. I'm going to go into etsy httpd conf.d Nope, I don't want to edit it. I want to go into that directory. And we're going to uh, edit the userdeer.com. Luckily it tells us the permissions that, that, that we need. It also tells us to enable this we need to remove this user deer disabled line and uncomment the public.html line. I hit page down by accident. I'm just going to comment this line out and uncomment the public.html line. We'll save that. We'll go ahead and restart Apache. And let's enable Apache as well, just to where I'm in good habit of doing that, because on the exam, remember, everything has to uh, persist. So let's go into home Eddie, and we're going to make the public.html directory. We'll echo Eddie's web page. Yeah, I cannot spell this evening. Into public HTML index.html. And per the instructions, we're going to change mode to 711 on home Eddie. I'll do this rec recursively for the other one. Change mode 755 to home eddy public.html. Chome is not going to work, but chamod will. All right, so we, we've set the permissions. Uh, I do need to configure firewall D. Just thought of that. Add service. I'm just doing this with the default zone. Actually, let's do that, um, make that persist as well. All right, so now if I were to go to my browser, it's probably going to remember the URL because if, as I said, I've done this a couple of times. And we can go to the default page, but if I were to try to do the home directory, I get forbidden. And I know that the permissions are right. We did that per the, the document. Assuming the document tells us correct permissions, and let me tell you that it does, at least for this um, for this demonstration. But what's holding us back is this SE Linux Boolean. Now I'm not going to go into how I know it's this this particular thing. I'm going to do another video um, specifically on doing some troubleshooting about uh, SE Linux policy violations. But just know that this is the thing that, that needs to be fixed. So um, unlike doing the file context where we're attaching that um, attaching that to a particular like, object, for lack of a better phrase, the Booleans have a runtime as well as uh, permanence. So if I were to just want to set this uh, at runtime or for runtime, I would do, let me clear this, set se bool, and then the name, particular name of the Boolean, httpd enable home deers, home deers, I think, and on. Or we can do a number one. So one or zero, uh, one or on will work. I can do get se bool and see that that's on. And if I refresh this, we see Eddie's web page. SE Linux is allowing us. I can turn this off again. And if I refresh, it will give me the forbidden. Um, of course, permissions and such are set directly, but again, it's it's the SE Linux layer of security that's that's preventing us from that. And if you think about it, this is kind of a good thing. Let's say that um, you know the Home Deers thing got misconfigured, or some some malicious um, malicious actor configured that on, but didn't think to do the SE Linux thing. This is kind of a layer of of of, of protection for you. So. 
with everything with this exam we have to think about persisting the configuration and the question is how do you do that well the only difference in the command to persist it is we're going to add the dash capital P option and that will both persist it as well as turn on the boolean so the question then becomes how do we check for this well if we go back to SE manage and we're looking at the booleans dash L and first I'm gonna pipe this to head because what this is going to show is the boolean it's going to show the first column of the current state then the default configuration and then a little description about it and we see if we were to grep for enable home deers it is on and on so I know that as of right now the boolean is configured to be on thus being allowed and it is also on by default so if this um, if this VM is rebooted I know that that, that configuration is going to um, persist so there's not, not a whole lot to just turning that uh, you know using the settings to, to modify this is basically turning stuff on and off the challenge of course is figuring out which of these that that, that you need to turn on and off which I'll, I'll cover in another video so as always, thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope this was helpful for you. If you like the video, make sure you, you click like and also subscribe to the channel. And I will see you the next time.